What's up fragrant world? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Today I'm bringing you a review of a fragrance that I've been getting a lot of requests to review. I've been talking about this fragrance for, I don't know, at least a couple years now in different ways and I do happen to have a bottle of it as of fairly recently over the past several months and I've been really enjoying it and I've loved it ever since I first smelled it. We're talking about from the house of Bois 1920, not Bois as I was getting some people saying in the comments, this is not a French house, this is Italian, so the pronunciation is not Bois, it's Bois. Bois 1920, here's this wonderful bottle, and this is called Dolce di Giorno. You can see it there, and I love the green juice. It's such a nice touch. It's kind of strange, because it doesn't really represent the fragrance to me, but I just love the way it looks. And to put it simply, this is a super elegant unisex fragrance. It was released in 2013, so it's been on the market for a minute. Some of the main notes in this one, you get lots of cinnamon, plum, cedarwood, vanilla. You got other spices like pepper in there, there's some cardamom, and there's cypriol, which comes from Nagamatha, which is it kind of gives it this almost aged wood barrel quality. That's very much in the background for me. I'm not super keen on the note of Cipriol, but primarily spicy, sweet, cinnamon, and plum and vanilla and cedar wood. Those are the four main notes to me. And when you smell it up close, you're gonna get a lot of the spices and a lot of the woods. Super spicy and woody. But when you smell it in the air, which is how it will be detected in real life, honestly, and especially by those around you, you're going to get a whole lot more of that plum and that vanilla with a little bit of the cedar wood and the spices. So it kind of flips up close, woody and spicy. In the air, you get more of the sweet and kind of the fruity nuance of it. Beautiful scent, fantastic performance. This stuff will last me at least eight hours on the skin. If I wear it for a day out, it'll last me all day. If I wear it at night, it'll last me till the next morning. And I think it can be worn day and night, but it is pretty elegant, so it might lean a little bit better for evening wear. This recently topped my niche top 10 list for the fall for a good reason, because man, it's so unique. It does have a resemblance to Costume National Ohm, which was actually released quite a few years before this. That came out in 2009. I don't think, however, this is a clone or was meant to copy that scent DNA. I think this is its own thing. And sometimes we do have these coincidences where scent profiles are similar, you know, even if it was unintentional. <sighs> Beautiful scent from the house. Definitely one to check out. You gotta smell this. If you wanna smell unique, if you like sweet and spicy and woody notes, this is the way to go. And again, it is strong. It's not gonna be a slouch. This one is, it's hard to find discounted. I couldn't find it for less than a hundred bucks, but I was finding it maybe around the $150 range for a full bottle. But I will leave some links down in the description uh, for ways to get a smaller size of it. I know fragrance that they have like a four pack special like it's like a four pack of like i think half ounce decants i could have the size wrong but i have a link to that below if i can find single decants uh, i'll leave links to that below as well but i highly recommend you check this one out beautiful for the fall and the winter i will be wearing this for the next several months now that things are cooling down here and thoroughly enjoying it and smelling unique and wonderful so, in a nutshell, that's what Bois 1920's Dolce Di Giorno smells like. If you smell this fragrance, let me know what you think of it. Or we can talk about it in any other way. If you have questions about it, you know I'm here to answer that. And again, check out the links in the description if you want to, you know, sample it. I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.